Hello and welcome to the Formula V. It's the return of the Formula V uh, on my channel. It's been a minute. I haven't been recording these. We're at Okayama Full today. Um, typically, I've stopped uh, doing the rookie races on my channel uh, just because they repeat themselves a lot. And which uh, is starting to get redundant. Like, how many times can I have Mazda races at... Sakuba on my channel <laughs> but uh, it's been a couple months since my last formula v race i've uploaded and i don't think uh i've ever done a race on the full course of okayama and the formula v normally we're on that shortened course i think so uh that's pretty interesting and i figured why not it's been a minute i think i've got some new uh some new viewers since that i mean i probably had like zero when i first started so <laughs> Um, some people might actually see him at this point. And, uh, well, why not? Should be some fun. Uh, this track is probably much too big for the Formula V. In fact, I would say it is too big. <laughs> but, um, it's not as bad as I thought it would be. Head and end, I'm like, man, we're doing the full course? I don't know about that. But, uh, some of these intersections are pretty good. And, uh, should be alright. What, uh, my plan is, is I'll go ahead and see if I can qualify well. And, uh, I'm not going to fight for any positions at all. There's going to be people zooming by me because of draft and they're going to go for it. I'm just going to back out of every single one. I'm going to keep up with the draft the best I can. Let guys maybe wreck into each other a little bit. And I uh, just uh, try to be very patient, because uh, they're just going to... We just don't want to be taken out of this one too soon. And I have a feeling people are going to be taking it three wide and such, right off the start, because the draft is going to make it very possible. I think patience is going to pay off better for me, though. So. We'll try to get a good qualifying lap. I had pretty good speed, uh in the open practice, but wasn't really that populated of a lobby, so we'll see how we stack up. We are the number one, unfortunately. Um, don't know what that's going to mean for our speed, comparatively or anything, because, well, like I said, first time uh, here on the full course, as far as I can remember, so... Not my best lap going on right now, but I'm not trying to push it too hard. Especially because uh, the cold tires will try to kill you in the V. You kind of have to learn how to get past uh, the cold tires off the start. Or else you'll be in bad shape. Um, kind of found a few techniques over time. Helping uh, keep it from killing me early on. Keeping like a little bit of a... Uh, little tiny bit of throttle in it sometimes. Uh, instead of just letting off completely in the corners. Uh, has helped a bit and uh avoiding hitting the brakes while turning as much as possible that's generally a good idea in general with the fee unless you're very de delicate with it and use it to get it turned just a smidge definitely don't want to overuse that because it'll get sideways sorry my wheels extra noisy today for some reason i don't know why i've got it extra clamped on there extra hard because it's been falling off and uh that's not good so <laughs> It's kind of creaking a little bit. Hopefully that's not annoying. It's not the force feedback. It's literally just on the desk whining at me. So hopefully that's not picking up too much. All right, first lap down. Now we can try to uh, push a little bit. That's P2. Pretty close up there, though. I like to shift right around, uh, I guess that would be, if that's 5,500, that's fine. about uh, 60 to 50. That's where I like to shift generally. I'm a little easy through there. My mistake. Um, like I said, it's not going to matter even if we uh, qualify first because they're just going to be coming right up on us, no matter how quickly we get through the corners because of draft, so. I 
not going to matter too much, fortunately. So that's why I'm just going to have to be patient. But uh, I did not want to get stuck too far behind, have to lift for a bunch of wrecks, and then lose draft. Because if I'm out of the draft, then it's going to be really hard to catch back up. Like, this is going to be a super speedway race on a road course, essentially. Uh, speaking of super speedways, lots of those last week. My videos were kind of more sparse because I really... <laughs> There really were not very many things I wanted to run, or could run. Uh, there were super speedways everywhere, and I just can't do those anymore. <laughs> I, I just, it, it makes me miserable. So, not too much of that to see. And then, um, there were a couple tracks I didn't own, and wasn't quite too keen on buying. Just a little apprehensive. I have to be careful about what I go and buy. So, uh, that lap time was 151. didn't quite have everything available to me, so didn't really have too much to upload, but this week should should be a little better. I know we got ARCA at uh, Nashville Super Speedway. It should be pretty fun. And, uh, well, heck, I'm uploading a Formula V race, too. So we, we're going to have fun stuff. Um, I try not to upload any more than two times a day. I don't want to flood people's subscriptions. So, hopefully even that's not too much. I get sick of me, so I don't want others to get sick of me. <laughs> we just missed out on pole, looks like, but we're a nice six tenths ahead of third. That's nice. Draft's going to make us all pretty equal, but hey, nice. I'm feeling pretty good about that pace. Wasn't the greatest participation, it looked like. I think we had like 40, maybe, people signed up. It's too bad these aren't more popular, because uh, it seemed like we had a little bit of interest when it first came out. And then uh, kind of just died away, which is unfortunate, because I like myself some VE racing. It's super slow, <laughs> but it's, uh, it's a good way to practice uh, hitting corners correctly, because you're going slow. And, uh, ooh. and ideally, it can help... Uh, set up some better habits like generally you don't want to be turning and braking at the same time so that's something that's uh, helped me get better I think and uh, jumping up to the USF 2000 which is essentially a more powerful Formula V you know it was a much easier transition because I learned kind of how it works the basics of how it works down here on the Formula V. And I run it every week as long as well as the Rookie Musta just because it's good fun. Some weeks more fun than others depending on who signs up and who decides to dive bomb you but I always like doing these. And I figure uh, this week I'll go ahead and upload it because why not. P2. I don't know if I do these starts right but That worked okay, I guess. Just gotta be real careful. Right side. Clear on the right. Hopefully they're a little patient. We'll see though. Probably not. Like I said, I'm just gonna be backing out. As you can see, they're diving in. No reason for it. They're just going to be right next to each other anyway. He's cutting me off. Very rude. That's fine. I'm not interested in racing him. I'm going to let him go up there, draft up, and make a dive bomb on the first place guy and wreck him, maybe. And then I don't have to worry about it anymore. But for now, it really, really does not matter what happens. Oh, there's a wreck behind us, so that's why I didn't want to start in the back, losing the draft. We're going to want the draft from these two guys ahead, in order to keep up better. So I think I'm in a good position right now. Don't wreck myself with cold tires. Take it easy, enjoy our drive. Nice... Calm Formula V drive. This should be fun. Nice, light-hearted fun. I need that after a week of super speedways to be completely...
completely honest with you. So, is this guy going to make a move on number seven after he gets the draft from this straight? P3. Okay, Colton. Ten minutes to quite yet, Ten looks like. Left. I'm basically at about 60% right now. I'm not trying anything crazy. Because I'm not even trying to pass these guys. It's kind of like last week as well. It's, uh... I don't know if I started this thought and, like, forgot or something, but um, it's too bad I didn't upload last week or record the Formula V race last week because it was a very, very good race. Um, it goes like it goes. Go right, P2. Yeah, the lead up. So, that's uh, Cold Tires. That's the guy that was closest to us on speed. Uh, so I'm not too worried about uh, having checked up for him there. I think we can catch this number two. Uh, last week was another track that had a lot of draft. It was Lime Rock, full, and uh, it was a little bit big for the Formula V. These things are so woefully underpowered, and draft affects it so much. Um, sorry, going through a little section here. Um, I uh, found myself in second place. And I did not want to go anywhere else. I was behind the guy that was in first. And uh, I just waited and waited because I did not want to pass him. Because I could overtake him on the final straight on the final lap. And so I was in the position I wanted to be in. I tried to do the overtake, but I uh, pulled out just a bit too soon. And it was a photo finish. It was one one thousandth of a second that I lost by. And uh, I was super close. And I like posted a photo on it on Twitter and stuff, and I was like, "Man!" <laughs> but uh, another case where it's just uh, effect maybe a little bit big for the V. This guy actually has some pretty good pace, so I better uh, better step it up just a, a touch. Maybe I should stop lollygagging and talking about other things, because. Uh, apparently he's faster than what his qualifying lap was. Ooh, he kind of messed up that corner or something, though. He gained a lot on, on him there. And uh, we'll be within draft now, so no worries. I'm just going to do the same thing again, probably. Sit behind him for a while. No reason to fight him for anything. Until later. The next car's the leader. In no hurry. These aren't very long races, but I think we have plenty of time. Just remaining calm. 1.9. So it's seven minutes. Keep overdriving that. There's a that's a hard turn to do because there's no real clear uh, braking point. So I'm always missing the <laughs> missing the braking point there. So there's no easy marker for it. Uh, I guess I'd better up the intensity just a little bit, make sure I can get there. That's the fastest lap of the race. That was a uh, 151.3. We were tenth off the pace in sector three. Some all-time bests. That'll be fun. Race against the clock. See how fast I can get it. That was a mess up there. I uh, entered a little shallow. I wonder if I can uh, get some a nice chunk of time on him in this corner again. Or if he just had a single mistake last time. Yeah, maybe a little bit. Not nearly as much as last time, but... That's where the guy, uh, the other guy made the mistake, too. He spun out in that corner. It's a bit of an awkward one.
I think you almost spun it there. Looks like you lost a lot of steam. Five minutes to go. You're looking good for a podium. Didn't want to drive it as bad that time, so that's nice. Maybe you'll start feeling the pressure and make a mistake since he sees us uh, closing in. Point five back. Even if I finish second, I'm not going to be too concerned, but I'm definitely going to I'm going to try. I get up to him. That's the fastest lap. That lap time was one fifty one point one. Now, 1.6 seconds. Well, I think I underestimated him. I saw his qual time and I just assumed uh, it's about where he was at, and he just must have made a mistake in, uh, in qualifying. Definitely, I'm getting through that corner much better than he is, though. I get like a, a tenth to a half a second almost each lap on him there. What if he's staying in fourth? It's a little bit risky to shift into third there, but I think it's uh, pretty fast to do so. Yeah, we're here now. I got a little worried for a minute, but I trusted that uh, we were going to reach him. Here's the weird breaking point. P4, no! Who that was? <laughs> Poor P4 going off track. He's breaking the draft. You may try, but you will not succeed to break this jet stream of draft. Following him, I should be paying attention to my own line. I don't usually go out that wide heading into there. I think it's really necessary. And remember to hit my marks, not his. Yeah, see how much uh, faster I am than him in there. Two minutes. I think we're just gonna ride behind him and maybe uh, make him make a mistake. Is he conceding the spot to me? Stay on the right. Clear on the left. I don't want to fight him. I didn't even mean to get on his inside there. I was just driving. He's breaking the draft. It's not going to do much, man. I'm here to stay. This is where I live now. On your back bumper. I think we're coming to the white flag, though. Holy smokes. What's he doing? Clear on the rock. That was scary. That means one more lap to go. If you warned me of that, I, I'm sorry I didn't hear it. I uh, had my chat muted. Number two, I didn't realize I had my chat muted and you uh, lifted off for me. That could have been dangerous if he was saying, go ahead. I 
I messed up the corner. All that excitement and everything got me all messed up. He's gonna ride behind me, I guess. Or no, he's gonna go for it, okay. Still there, hold your line. You've got about five laps of fuel. Keep to the left. Clear out to your position. Mm. It's pretty slow through there. You've got ten minutes of fuel remaining. This is awkward. Because it's like neither of us really want to be in first all that much. So we're not even sure if that's where we want to be, but. Huh. Weird. I guess there's not enough run to the line in order to get it done. I guess I should have gone for it. Well done. We're on the podium. Good try. Oh well. All right. There's the ticket flag. Nice run. Solid work. Good win too. Yeah, I guess there wasn't enough straightaway for the second place to work. That's fine. Why is it always so loud? This mic is always so much louder with the engines and stuff. All right. I hope no one was talking to me that whole race. I had it on mute. So I could do my intro and everything. Well, you made a balls up of that one. What happened to you? How come you ended up P1 and then you end up seventh and I passed you? What's going with all that? I um, ran out of talent for one of the corners and turned the car. Strategy. And you were just kind of letting people through because you knew you were slow because you didn't get up to speed, I'm assuming. Is that the sound right? Well, where I went off at, it was, um, yeah, so by the time I got back on track, other cars were up to speed, so I'm, I'm not going to block them, I'm just letting them go All past right. and then. Um... Mute that for now. Yeah, I just messed up the timing on how I wanted to go for it. <laughs> There's really not much else to do that. I just uh, I thought maybe I'd have better pull going to the line, and it didn't quite work out that way. Uh, let's see, uh, incidents. Good win to him. I guess I don't mind a second. There, so we got some self-spinning in lap one. That guy was fast, too. That's too bad. He was one of the faster guys in the open practice I was in. What do you say? It's nice racing against people you sort of have a bit to do with it. Oh wait, that's gonna... You know, I've found that the open wheel cars seem to be... You sort of have a bit to do. I just want to see who's talking to me. That's hilarious. Oh, uh, they're talking about something else? You're American. <laughs> okay. Um, we have time in Australia. Sorry, don't now I feel bad for interrupting all this. For real, let's pay attention to <laughs> incidents. So, still lap one. Probably going to be another spin out. Oh my god, never mind. <laughs> oh my lordy. That 10 came flying in. Wowzers. Is it because he hit the... Maybe it's because he hit the grass. Messed with his braking. Wow, that was a torpedo though. Um, Yikes. I don't know what time it is over in the mid south, but you race in five hours, which is when that's and of course they're broken. Uh, nine thirty or nine o'clock over here in Australia, you would have mm. to continue. That's tough. There's one guy in particular, Sig Sigula Sigiolo or whatever. I, he is actually the reason I stopped racing in this class for a little bit. So this was after he made his other mistake. Did I see his other mistake? I don't think I did. Yeah, he'll win it all cost guy, and if you're in his way, he'll just drive through you. Yeah, so he made another mistake right afterward. Which I'm fine with on the last lap. Just don't do it every lap. 
So he just uh, made a mistake here. The tires are still too cold to go in that hard, I guess. And then he made another mistake here. Uh, it looks like he's turning the wheel hard to keep on the inside while going too wide, and uh, the tires still just weren't having it. Or just the Formula V in general, because... Uh, you really, uh, there's a limit on how hard you can turn these things before they just snap on you. And was that it? Wow! Okay, very nice race. Everyone was very polite, I felt, uh, except for Tor <laughs> Torpedo Tam back there in the number 10 <laughs> that came up and took that guy up, but even that was probably just a straight-up accident. Um, so P2, I probably should have and could have gotten first, but uh, I kind of just didn't plan it properly. Um, I overestimated the draft on the straightaway. It's strong, but it wasn't quite strong enough. And, uh, I don't know, I probably took, took it too relaxed, but that's kind of why I run these races anyway. These just uh, little rookie races, because they're just for fun, just lighthearted fun, and I enjoyed uh, my race today, and I hope you enjoyed watching, even if I kind of <laughs> threw away the win maybe a little bit there. I don't know. The guy was fast, so let me not pretend that I was just a shoe in Like, he was very fast. He was faster than his qualifying indicated, and even though I was able to catch him, you know, part of that's also the draft. And uh, it was just that one corner that I was getting consistently, uh, getting through consistently faster. So, all right. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time. Uh, should be some fun races this week. So I'll see you there.